guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel's beautiful day so I guess I just want to show you a simple way to make potato chips at home now I just have some regular potatoes that I cut up in a mandolin so my mandolin looks like this what I have is one of these a kind of a bucket thing and it has a cutter piece that looks like this I just fit that on there I fill this with water about to half about here put that in right there I take a potato and I put it in this thing cut it up just let, just do that kind of pull it up put the potato in and just quickly slice it at a very kind of thin setting so it's almost as at the thinnest so let me show you how thin these get these can get kind of really really thin you can do this with a knife if you're if you're a professional obviously but I suck at it so I'm not gonna even try now I tried making these before they were too thick they kind of turned out soggy still good though if you season them still taste like french fries but if you want to make these crispy chips that look like this and they have this crispy texture to them you want them to be kind of this thin like that I don't know a few millimeters almost like a little more than a few millimeters obviously but you see how thin that is now uh, if you watch other videos on YouTube they tell you to dry them up really carefully and be really careful by drying them up so they don't explode in the oil and obviously that's true if you put something in hot oil like that is really hot right now it's gonna explode and that's what's happened back here as you can see a few experiments but I have my little stove here it's really dirty excuse me I'm gonna clean it off tomorrow uh, I've been using it a bunch but uh, but yeah you, you want to get some oil in something like this maybe something bigger even prefer preferably and one of these, I'm going to get one of these, a spider, they're called, I think. Oh, there's a little chip still in here. I'm going to have to take that out. Uh, let me just take that out. Boom. Kind of brownish. Still tastes really good. But yeah, just get one of these spiders and something big to fry in. You can use an air fryer if you don't want to use oil. Obviously, it's the most nutritious or the most uh, healthy option. But otherwise, for the rest of us, you just take in a potato, put it up, cut it up into small pieces, and then you don't have to dry them. This is my trick. So I, I heat this up to max. See, it's on max, but the oil is not on the pan. I just heat it up to max, then I take it off the pan and I leave it there. So what I do is I take this, I put some potatoes in here, and I just slowly dip them and take them out. Dip them and take them out. So the water kind of heats off. It goes off. All right, it goes away and that way I get potatoes that aren't uh, that won't explode so I'm just gonna put some potatoes in here now just one a few pieces at a time I'm gonna cook these last ones up see how, how thin they are so I'm just gonna cook these last ones up uh, right here excuse my toilet paper roll that's what I use to dry stuff off on the table but I'm just gonna do this before this falls I'm gonna put it a little more up like this uh, it's kind of dangerous, but all right, let's see. I live on the edge. So I'm going to put all of these in, just like that. Uh, and let them kind of fall in, because it's not that hot right now. I'll let it fall in. Uh, I'm just going to put everything in there. But what I usually would do, I'll just take them out, let them kind of get that water off, and then put them in again, and then take them off for a little while. And when the oil is really hot, but it's off the stove thing, so... That means that it doesn't really explode. It's kind of going down in, in uh, what do you call it, in temperature. So you just want to get all those potatoes out. I'm going to let those fry. I'm going to put the rest of them in. Now I can just throw them in kind of. But, uh, but yeah, and as they are lying here, as you fry these in batches, they're going to automatically kind of, what do you call it, uh, dry off because they're in the heat. Right, and you're just putting them above like that, and you're leaving them out here on a, a preferably a dry towel or something like that. And when you're finished with it, you can just clean it or you wheeze it. So, uh, so yeah, so I got my potatoes in, I'm gonna put the rest of them in. And remember, I just threw them in now because the oil isn't that, that hot, but I'll still let it just dry up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put these in, in the well, on the plate. So it takes about maybe. How long does it take? Ten depends on my uh, depends on your water or how hot your oil gets, but it might take up to like 
five to ten minutes per batch like this if you put too many in the oils temperature sinks and it's really light they, they might not get fried that quickly so I'm gonna put this back on here as it's really hot and I'm just gonna let that fry and it's gonna take about like I said five to ten minutes for this batch to be finished and when they come out they're gonna look like this and what you do after that is you just take some sea salt or whatever salt you want I usually take some garlic powder uh, non non salted garlic powder I know it says curry ignore that but it's and this nice person on the on the face I don't know who the hell that is but yeah just take that sprinkle it on there kind of as much as you want some salt and what you can do is you can just kind of do that make sure they all mix mix up together and this is a little healthier version of, of chips obviously it's fried but you can make these in the microwave if you have time just put them on a big plate and microwave them uh, if you would want to bake these you could and they just look really nice so that's how I make my potato chips remember again I repeat that if they're wet don't worry too much just take the oil off slowly just be really careful with it take some of them in the spider and just dip them in a little bit take them out dip them in take them out just do that until they're dried off and then you can uh, go ahead and put them in the oil for good but be really careful so this does not happen and you're gonna be in big trouble if that happens in your mom's kitchen or wherever you are you're gonna get your ass beat so don't do that let it fry use whatever potatoes you want I use just regular cleaned fresh potatoes that I buy just just regular ones I don't know which ones you might prefer but they're different tastes to them I use regular oil canola oil I think it is I think it's canola oil it's in Swedish but yeah it's pretty much empty now I just use that you can reuse your oil for a while without them going bad so yeah thanks for watching and obviously before I go actually you could use paprika powder as well and just sprinkle that on there gives them a little extra taste I'm actually gonna do that when I'm finished but yeah mine are frying they're gonna be done they're gonna be looking like that and you know that they're done and I was about to end the video a little prematurely there but you know they're done when the oil isn't actually frying that much anymore it's just like you kind of press them down at times do that just press them down sometimes mix them around a little bit and make sure that they're not sticking too much to each other just do that they might stick to your spider at times like that don't worry too much about that either just do like kind of move them around after a while it's gonna stop sizzling as much you're gonna see this brownish reddish color on them when you move your spider over them they're gonna be uh, uh, when you move it around it's gonna be a little crispy feeling so uh, so yeah just experiment with that be careful with the oil and you'll be good so thanks for watching take care enjoy making these beautiful chips yeah yeah and I'll see you in the next one right bye bye